What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Today I'm going to show you guys how to draw the face at a three-quarter view, but it's going to be we're, we're going to be viewing it from the back side. We're going to so we're going to be drawing a back three-quarter view of the head, which is kind of a challenge a little bit to some people. So like always, if I'm doing a face tutorial, I always start out with a circle because that's going to be sort of the skull for the head. And lots of people are used to drawing like perspective lines for when you're actually viewing the eyes, nose, and mouth, the rest of the face. So we are still drawing it at a three-quarter view, so we're going to add a perspective line here going the opposite direction from where the face is facing. So it's actually facing this way, but we're looking at it, but we're going to look at it from a back view of it. So we're going to have the perspective line facing the opposite way. And reason being is because uh, let's say you're looking at another proportion like this. Let's say this face is facing to see this face. So we're going to base today's tutorial off of this proportion. Finishing that line and don't forget to add your, your midpoint line. And then you can continue drawing the face shape. Just come off of this line. And you want to make this a little bit, not curved, but a little bit more straight. And then you want to come back up from here. This will be the chin. You're going to come back up and aim right here at this other line. And this is going to be curved too. And then while we're drawing this head, the chin is also going to show. So when we're going to draw the neck, we're going to base it a little bit off of here. Not on the chin, but like right around here. So that's where part of it is going to start. The neck can also come off of here and make a straight line. Almost. But you can also start the neck from right here if you want to. It's up to preference. And then if you want, you can turn the page and actually start making sort of a shirt or a collar or whatever. But this is what I always like to do for some reason. And then since we drew this uh, midline right here, we can start to draw the ear. And this is how you draw the ear from a back view. Just make sort of a, I don't, this type of shape right here. Or the ear. And that's about it. You could possibly go bigger. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Make this ear a little bit bigger. And then make sort of a lobe. Okay, and it's not necessary to draw the ear on the other side because this half of the face we're not going to see much of as you can see because uh, of this perspective line here. We're going to see more of this side than the other. So it, it won't be necessary to draw the ear on this side, but you can just draw like a little shape over on this side. It doesn't really matter. So after we drew the ear, we don't have to include the nose, the mouth over here on this side. What we can do is we can start to draw the hair. Now, if you guys already know how to draw hair, then that's up to you. I'm just going to choose one hairstyle for the sake of the video. And I'm going to start off right here. Because this is like the midpoint between this line and then this first perspective line that we drew earlier. So I'm just going to draw. I'm going to start to draw the hair up here. And then I'm going to come back down to this to the stopping point for this first perspective line that we drew earlier. And then I'm going to come back up and stop at the top of the ear. And then I'm going to come back around towards the front of the face and add little strands of hair. And then I'm going to come off the top of the ear and make sort of an opening there. And that way, it makes sense for us to see the eyes, nose, and mouth. But I think this hair is in the way. Let's just say if we're looking at this head from a front view, we're only going to see one eye because the hair is covering the other, you know?
So this is how you draw the face at a back three quarter view. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. If you guys did like the video, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I